up everyone. Today's video is about something that I've been asked about a lot, and that's how to install Minecraft on your Chromebook. I'm going to show you how to install two different versions of the game. One is a Java version for Linux, and the other is an Android version. But before I start, I need to temper some expectations. First, I'm trying this on an x86 Chromebook. I do not know if this will work on an ARM Chromebook, but you can try it out if you want. But the Android version might work on ARM Chromebooks because there are ARM specific builds of Minecraft, but I do not have an ARM Chromebook to test this with. If you do not know if you have an ARM or x86 Chromebook, check out my video on how to find out. A link will be provided in the description. There are also going to be issues after you install Minecraft. One issue is that local multiplayer games do not work, or at least I couldn't get them to work. I tried configuring my firewall on my PC and Chromebook, but could not get my Chromebook to communicate with my PC, my iPad, or my Android phone. However, you can connect to dedicated servers for multiplayer gaming. Another caveat is performance. Do not get a Chromebook dedicated to Minecraft or even dedicated to gaming. We are going to be using a Linux virtual machine to get this working, and this will cause the game to work slower than a native Linux or Windows install. This method is good for users who already have a Chromebook and want to try to see if Minecraft can work well for them. If you want a computer dedicated to Minecraft, then it's better to buy a Windows, Linux, or Mac computer. They will perform much better. Supposedly, Google is working on getting games to run better on Chromebooks, but you should not base your decision on what may happen. So with the caveats out the way, let me tell you the requirements for this. First, you need to install Linux on your Chromebook. If you do not know how to install Linux, then check out my video showing you how. A link will be in the description. After installing Linux, you need to set up the Linux install to be able to use Flatpaks. I also have a video on that, so check the description for that video too. There is also a Linux flag you may need to enable to have the mouse working properly. To enable it, open up a browser and type the below command. Search for the phrase pointer lock and then enable the pointer lock for Linux applications flag. Then click restart. And finally, you will need to have either purchased the Java version of Minecraft or the Android version of Minecraft. So with the requirements out the way, let me show you how to install the Java version first. If you want to skip to the Android version, check the timestamps in the description to take you straight to those instructions. Okay, so to install the Java version, open up a web browser and navigate to flathub.org. And then from there, hit the search button and type Minecraft. Ignore the Minecraft icon that you see below. It's the Android version. We want to install the Java version. So when the search results come up, you will see two results for Minecraft. The one you want to click on is the one that is just labeled Minecraft. Do not click on this icon labeled Minecraft Bedrock Launcher. So click on the correct icon to bring up a new page. Ignore this install button and scroll down to the bottom of the page. Now you want to copy this install command. After it's copy, bring up a Linux terminal window. When the terminal window is loaded, type sudo and then paste the command. You can paste the command by typing on your Chromebook's touchpad with both fingers, or by right-clicking your mouse, or by hitting Ctrl-Shift-V on your keyboard. Hit enter after copying and the installation process will begin. Agree to any questions the installation asks of you and wait for the install to finish. After the install is complete, you are ready to run Minecraft. So to run the Java version of Minecraft, you just open the app launcher and search for Minecraft. You can see the Minecraft icon here, so just click it. On this screen, you need to log into the account that you purchased Minecraft with. So click on the appropriate login and enter your credentials. Since I purchased my copy through my Microsoft account, I'll choose the Microsoft login. If you get this launcher update message, just ignore it and close it off. Click dismiss here. And here, make sure Minecraft Java is selected and not Minecraft Dungeons. Now click play.
and the game download will happen. The first Linux install we did was just for the launcher, so wait for the game install to finish and when it does, the game will automatically boot up. You can see that the game is in a window. If you want it full screen, just hit the full screen button on your Chromebook. So let's start a single player game. I'll set it to creative mode. And create a new world. So the game world is now loaded. And moving around, I can see that the frame rate isn't really good. It does not feel smooth. To help get a better frame rate, we can bring up the main menu and click on options. Then click on video settings and then just play around and lower some settings here. Click done when you're finished and the game might restart its graphics. Things improved a bit, but I'm still not satisfied. So I'll go to the settings again and lower the render distance. And that made things much better with the downside of not being able to see as far into the distance. Every Chromebook will have different optimal settings so play around with the video settings to get something that you're happy with. So now you officially have the Java version of Minecraft on your Chromebook. Let me now show you how to connect to dedicated servers. If you want to connect to a dedicated server located on your home network, make sure you have another computer running the server software. I'll provide a link to the server software in the description. From the main menu, click on multiplayer, the game will start scanning for servers, but if nothing shows up, click on Direct Connection. Enter the IP address of the computer on your network that's running the server, and then click on Join Server. And now I'm on the server. Okay, how did I die? I'll just respawn. So from here, you can have other people on your network join the server so you can play together. So this is a dedicated local server. We can also log into dedicated servers over the internet. To connect to an internet server, I'll disconnect from this game. The process is the exact same as when I connected to a dedicated server on my network. Click on direct connection and then type the host name or IP address of an internet server you want to connect to. Here's a free public server, us.mindplex.com. And then click join server. And you can see that it's working. So even though LAN games aren't working in Chrome OS, you can still do multiplayer by connecting to dedicated servers. So that's the Java version of Minecraft on Chrome OS. Let me now show you how to install the Android version of it on your Chromebook. So to install the Android version of Minecraft on a Chromebook, you may think you would just have to download Minecraft from the Play Store. Well, that's not possible because Microsoft has delisted the software there. You can probably set your Chromebook to dev mode or enable ADB debugging to sideload it, but that requires a lot more configuration and it also compromises the security of your Chromebook. There is a much easier way of installing it. It works almost the same as the Java method. So open up a web browser and navigate to flathub.org. On that website, you will see a Minecraft icon. This is the one we want, but if it does not show up on this page, Click on the search button and type Minecraft to search for it. On the results, you will see two different Minecraft icons. The one you want to click on is the one labeled Minecraft Bedrock Launcher. On the next page that comes up, scroll all the way to the bottom and you want to copy this text. Now bring up a terminal window, type sudo then paste the command you just copied. You can paste the command by tapping on your Chromebook's touchpad with both fingers, or by right-clicking on your mouse, or by hitting Ctrl Shift V on your keyboard. Hit enter after copying and the installation process will begin. Agree to any questions the installation asks of you and wait for the install to finish. After the install is complete, you are ready to run Minecraft. So to run the Android version of Minecraft after installing, bring up the app launcher and look for the Minecraft Bedrock Launcher icon. You may have seen another Minecraft icon on my screen. Ignore it. It was the Java version. 
So click on the Minecraft Bedrock Launcher icon to open it. On the window that comes up, click on Continue. Now sign in with the Google account that you purchased Minecraft with. Remember, this is the Android version. If you try to log in here with your Java version credentials, it won't work. So you must use your Google account info. On the new window that comes up, click on Download and Play. Agree to the terms and wait for the game download to finish. It will open the game after it's done. To make the window full screen, just hit the full screen key on your Chromebook. Now you want to sign into the Microsoft account that you have Minecraft attached to. If you don't, then you won't be able to connect to dedicated servers. So let's start a game by clicking on play. Then click create new. Set the options you want for this world. Remember, local multiplayer is not going to work, so don't bother with those settings. Click create when you're done. So the world is loaded and it's performing much better than the Java version. So I don't see a need to change any graphics setting as it's much smoother. I'll now show you how to connect to a local dedicated server. With this setup, Chromebooks will be able to play with people on the same network, but you'll have to install the Bedrock server onto a computer on your network. I'll provide a link in the description to the server. So from the main menu, click on play, then click on the server tab, scroll down to the bottom and click on add server. Enter the server name and the IP address of the server you have set up in your LAN. Then click play. If you get this window, click on proceed. And I'm now logged into a dedicated server on my network. I'm also going to get on my Windows computer and also connect to that server so you can see another player in the game. And there he is. Using this method, you can play multiplayer games with other people on your home network. But if you want to play on a server over the internet, you can do that too, as long as you know the host name or IP address of the server you want to connect to. Or you can just look at the server list in the server section and join one of those servers. A problem that you will encounter while using the Android version of Minecraft is that you won't be able to connect to the marketplace. So any servers that require the marketplace will have issues and any content you bought on the marketplace will be inaccessible. Other than that, you should be fine. So if you already have a Chromebook, you can try to see if Minecraft runs for you by following the directions in this video. Anyway, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like. And if you want to see more content like this, hit the subscribe button and its bell icon so you can get notified of future videos. Thanks for watching and I'll speak to you next time. Oh,